The 2020 Democratic field of presidential nominees has swelled to over two dozen, but the winnowing process is likely to ramp up after the second round of debates in Detroit and before the third round in September. Despite a few candidates not making the stage for the opening debate in Miami, the donation and polling requirements were more, well, liberal compared to the threshold for the third round in Houston, where only seven candidates have qualified so far. Another factor in fracturing the field could be polling data, with CNN pointing out that four candidates, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren have numerically set themselves apart from the rest of the field in most major polls. The field will likely siphon off more candidates in the winter after early state primaries in Iowa and New Hampshire. CNN reports that since 2000, candidates who didn't win either of those states only won 3% of the other Democratic primaries. Then there's the voter demographics from race, education, gender, age, and more, with candidates overlapping in some categories. While former Vice President Biden has led most Democrats Democratic polls, demographics, or a one-on-one -on -one race could change that, with pollster Tressa Undum telling CNN, quote, it would be different if the candidate field was weak, but it's strong and diverse. Believe it or not, the expansive field of over two dozen candidates will eventually narrow down to one on or before next July's Democratic National Convention in Milwaukee.